Mountain Sea, the desert region of Imperial Valley, California, is the hottest place in the United States. Hot water and steam are forced from the earth by the subterranean pressure of carbon dioxide gas. Waves of heat from the broiling sun mingle with clouds of steam that bubbles from hot mud pots. Nature's law of opposites prevails even here for the production of desert ice. From drilled wells 700 feet deep, water and gas are forced into separating tanks. The water is automatically discharged, while the gas continues on through pipelines to this modern compressor plant, which is centrally located in relation to various gas-producing wells. From where the pipelines converge, the gas is compressed to a thousand pounds pressure and forced into condensers to liquefy. The liquid is released into steel chambers where it evaporates and expands into snow. The snow is mechanically pressed 1,800 pounds to the square inch and emerges in 50-pound blocks of dry ice. It doesn't melt but evaporates and is shipped in paper sacks to protect it from the air. When placed in liquids, it returns to its original gaseous state. A transparent covering of ice forms on the cube as it evaporates. The former prohibitionist may now carbonate his own highballs. Its quick dry freezing qualities preserve innumerable food products for many months. It serves in various ways in motion pictures, one of which is to produce the effect of steam. The temperature outside is 130 degrees above zero. Inside, it's 109 below. An open valve creates a miniature snowstorm. The discovery of ice in the desert presents a natural paradox. These flakes of snow are cold enough to burn. Desert ice is really hot stuff.